This is your moment, Jen. Let's do this. Now, ready, Jen? Are you ready? Jen? Are you ready? Jen? 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 Wait. One. No, that's IT crowd because you're saying Jen. Yes. It's tabletop time. I'm Jen. I'm Rob. We did this. I'm Jazz up. I'm Dave. And we'll never get that right. <laughs> we're, we're very efficient and yeah. practiced at this. Yeah. It's we, uh, we as soon as it starts to be efficient and comfortable, we like to flip the script and yep. do it awkwardly and in a new way. Put the way. script in a shredder and then exactly. leaf through the paper to find out what we're <laughs> doing. That's just how we roll. Oh, good pun. Ooh, Boom. Bad roll though. <laughs> very bad roll. Dun, dun, dun. Tonight is going to be bad. Some <laughs> green screen is showing. Oh, don't worry about that. Twitch silliness, because we're here on it's YouTube just, for yeah. you, YouTube viewers. Yeah. It's no, just we love the you, Twitch. In the bottom Speaking of, the of Twitch, floor. we stream these sessions we're live streaming on Twitch. Right now. We it's are true. streaming live right on yep. right on Twitch right now. That's why I'm so not if you want to get nose. episodes early, see all the shenanigans. There are a lot of shenanigans <laughs> around the actual filming. Uh, follow us on It's Tabletop Time on Twitch. You know, check it out. It's yeah. a good time. Rob, do you want a cup of Patreon? Yeah. yeah. Um, we wouldn't be, I mean, we probably would be here without our Patreon, but we definitely- You're <laughs> fucking up <laughs> Patreon <laughs> plug so bad. But, we would be here without your support, but, so but don't worry about we would, it. We would not be anywhere near as good uh, as we are right now without our Patreon support. And with our Patreon support, and the more people that we have support us on Patreon, the better and better things that we can do. More. We have, uh, we have you, bold and grand plans um, that will only be achievable with your support. So look at the, he check turned, us out on he Patreon. turned it around. Oh, he turned it around. Actually, there's been a big revamp with patronage. So True. I encourage you, if you've looked at it in the past, it looks different now. There's a lot of exciting stuff there and a lot more tiers to cater for different levels of support. So go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> and we as we, we get, need your support. As we get more. Don't listen to Rob. Then you get no, more. I'm just saying. <laughs> we're, we're passionate enough to do this from like yes, a shoebox. Absolutely. But absolutely. But we, we all be in a believe shoe. there is huge potential and there is so much we want to do yeah so yeah and you yeah. make that possible exactly it, yeah we thank you for that dave oh me next yeah oh, it's your turn hey did you guys know that what? sometimes you can have a lovely experience with your eyes closed what that's right Ridiculous. Ridiculous. top time is a podcast and you can listen to it on any platform that's awesome and has podcasts right so yeah. if you want to like hang out and chill and listen to us uh we'll be putting content up there maybe you listen in the car maybe you listen in the bath with some candles and a nice relaxing oh, evening that Rose. sounds delightful PSA, don't Ooh. listen to a podcast Ooh. with your eyes Naughty. closed while driving Ooh. <laughs> 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 yeah, keep your eyes open if you're driving and listening yeah. to the and podcast. And not yeah. the rosé in the driving. With and the bathtub. The car. Let's, the there are separate experiences we're talking about. Jen, what are you talking Sorry. about? She opened up. She oh, set she the time. have a plug? Do black magic. Want? Yeah. Oh, black magic. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy to talk about black magic all the time. <laughs> so uh, we're up to chapter three. Up to chapter three. Who wants to provide a brief synopsis of what's happened in this day? We all went to Uglies. We found Songbird, who is in desperate need of... She had a tale to tell. Yeah, she had a tale to tell. Um, and then we all met back at Agla's garage. I met Congruent. Incongruent. 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 Also known as Johnny. Yes, also known as Johnny. <laughs> um, and we basically have a job to do to impress Ugly, which is to go find a coder. Vinod we're, Singh. It's a kid, we're kidnapping someone. We're kidnapping someone. You are we're kidnapping, kidnapping Vinod Singh, the coder. Someone he wants Vinod to Singh. force to work for him mm. in unseemly ways. And we're the ones for the job. Let's do it. Excellent. Mm. And we also had someone killed by accident. <laughs> oh, yes. S effect. Oh, ah. buddy. He got folded. It's awkward, but it was a beautiful moment of storytelling. Sad for S effect. There's a lot a of F's of respect in Twitch chat. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Um, he was a very, he was a very likeable NPC. I just want to He was yeah. built to be the he comic was, relief yeah. character. It's, and so okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Because we have Eve. Now there will be no comic relief. It's just dark no, now. No, we've got You're Eve. Oh, okay. Well, Eve, Eve is our comic relief and silver lining. I think there's a, a dial that's going to be turned eventually though. All right. So oh, what, oh, we'll don't okay. spoil. What we need to Let's get, get across is one dying. thing is. Do you guys, this is the one thing that I have forgotten from last session. What time was it? I feel like it was like 9 p.m. It was, yeah, it was, it was late. It was late, late. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, so into the you evening. all leave Ugly's Motors yeah, we and do. are now walking up uh, sort of shaken by your experience, I imagine, of what you've seen. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say to each other as you climb the steps and leave well, the yard? that was eventful. Uh, Can I vomit? <laughs> really? Yeah. From I just saw someone get folded. You feel that you you feel like the compulsion to vomit, but your body just won't do it. Oh, that's 
and then it goes away. Mm. You're like, you're basically like made to be better than that. That's it's the sort of things yeah. that bespoke hate they about themselves out, is because there's themselves. elements Dude, of their humanity yeah. that they just can't connect with other people because like, you know, you're more composed. You don't have a weak stomach. You feel sick to your core though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. I feel sick to my core. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> your core is better than others. So no, I'm just digging around. How long do you have until you need fusion again? I think it's three uh, days. Was it? Has it been yeah. we're getting close to two days? He was already halfway through. I rolled a dice yeah. to determine how okay. much dosage he had. Yeah. So he's got three days left. He only needs one dose a week, right? Sick. Yeah. 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 All so, right. you walk on out. And as you round the corner, you hear the wet thud that Sa you, uh, Sebast no, not Sebastian, Pro is familiar with. The wet thud of flesh being hit by a, a fist. Um, and there's a rough sound of scuffling in the alleyway just ahead of you. And then the sound of feet running off into the night. I like hold my hand out to like stop you guys from walking. I'm like, I think I heard an altercation outside. Do you want to check that out? Yep. I'm just going to yep, nod and walk on. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's going to be someone in need of medical assistance. Yep. I tend to even say, you know, just so you know, there's probably going to be a lot of people we're going to come across in the time being who need medical assistance or will very soon be, need medical assistance. Maybe we should set some priorities. Uh, us for now and... <laughs> The rest we could sort of put to a vote, maybe. You could be the tiebreaker. Understood. Okay. However, I will not compromise someone else's life for someone else's. All right. Uh, pretty sure that just did, threw what I suggested out the window, but we'll see how. We'll, we'll, <laughs> great. Let's get. We'll give it a go. All right. Proceed cautiously. Is see. Songbird with us? She's outside on her post. Oh, no, but you were wanting to meet No, she's her. still there. Yeah. She's but like, she's like across the road mm -hmm. uh, looking, mm -hmm. scouting. She look, she's at the lookout. Clear, she is very much like the sort of kids that sit on the corners of streets that are hired by like drug dealers and stuff to just keep an eye out. So like if, yeah. if, if someone threatening comes along, she'll raise the alarm, but she's just there to keep an eye out. So you head to the alleyway corner. Yeah. As so I couldn't help but get wind of the, uh, the fact that the fusion I asked you to get for me seems to be being subdivided now. I mean, that's fine. I understand people need help, but uh, I will need enough to function for enough time to keep going. Don't worry. We'll find a way to keep you stocked up on it. All right. As long as you're useful. Are you threatening him? No. I'm pretty sure that sounded... Let's move on. So you reach the corner. Yeah. As you round the corner, uh, you almost immediately bump into someone who's like bustling out. Um, there's a tall hunched man uh, wearing a dark green trench coat who sniffles like loudly. <laughs> and it's just, he snorts blood back up into his bent nose that, and he's got blood hanging all down his face. Um, he's got like a disgust, he's, dirty brown hair he's got this wispy goatee um and he just he looks very very much homeless like dirty smelly uh and sort of hanging loosely uh from his top he has like a pie stand tray um you know like the things mm. that people sell uh and most of what was on it is missing it's mostly empty and he looks up at you and he's like oh <coughs> ah, hi hi how you doing hey good evening everyone you right, mate? Let's keep walking. Uh, but, 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 yeah. I just saw you guys go down to Uglies. I, I, you were the ones I was watching you earlier and I was just taking a piece in the alleyway and people just, um, you know, they decided to take my stuff. It happens. Um, so, what? like, don't leave so soon. I wanted to talk to you. What? I put my hood on and headphones on and I just keep walking in the direction where I meant to go and wait for you guys to catch up. How gross does he look? Is he pretty messed like wood? Filthy. 
it, but face wise, he because stinks. it's still. Oh, you couldn't tell that. No, no, no. Yeah. But like, is his nose still there? His and nose is like sort of snapped a little bit at the end, and there's okay. just blood pouring out of it. He's probably got a broken nose. I'll, I'll turn to he, he also is covered in like older bruising. Like he looks yeah. like he's someone who gets beat up all the time. Um, any cybernetics? No. You can see. Okay. He was probably hitting himself. But you see, we had you heard footsteps, right? Could yeah, you heard hit. the scuffle of footsteps. Right? You could have done a lot. Um. Bush, bush, do, 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 do. I'll turn to you. It's with your character, though, so I get it. Yeah. No. Sir, you need medical assistance. <laughs> yeah, well, probably, but I'll be right. I'm always fine. It appears your nose is broken. You want to straighten it out for me? Take my hand. Can I offer him pain relief? Uh, this is a check to determine a destiny roll to determine, mm -hmm. like, what your stockpiles are like yeah, of sure. basic medical equipment. So mm. probably not as, like... As you were for, like, you, you might have a little packet of, like, Nurofen for yeah, children, yeah, sure. but, like, you don't have, like, morphine or yeah, any, like, okay. high medical drugs in your system. You're pretty low stocked on that kind of thing. Could I... This could I fix hurt. his nose? Or I... You reckon you could straighten it out, yeah. You're trained. You'd have to make a survival check. So, without medical assistance, I could fix you, but I would advise that you go to a hospital. Are you medical, like, bot or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, and then he's like, hospital? Where? What hospital? What are you talking about? Buddy, you're a medical bot. Fix it. Come on. Are you sure? He just leans forward. You're giving me consent? Yeah, please. Come on, look, yeah. it's bleeding right. everywhere. I'll fix his nose. Okay, make a survival check. Heck yeah. I assume you just walked off. Yeah, I'm oh headed God. down the alleyway and I'm just sort of waiting around the corner for you guys to catch up. But yeah, I don't like being exposed for too long and especially around weird, loud people. Did you follow him or are you lingering with him? No, I linger. Cool. Our challenge level two. Two. Lucky. Nice. Okay, cool. So the reason it's challenge level two is you're just trying to like straighten his nose. You're not trying to like medically cauterize. <laughs> so you snap his nose back into position and there is like a spurt of blood that sprays further out and his nose starts bleeding more profusely. Do you have like a bandaid I can just like clean? You'd have some basic yeah. medical stuff. And um, you kind of put a little thing on it and the blood's welling and then he just rips part of his um, shirt off from underneath his coat and ties it up under his nose and around the top of his head and there's just like blood pouring around. And he's like... Thanks, thanks, love. That was great. What Look, an image. hey guys, blood well again. Hey guys, um, can I offer you any goods? And then he pr like proffers his tray and pulls his coat open and like displays you some wares. What's I do a better price than ugly. What was that destiny roll of I'm not sixteen? Telling. For? Not telling. That was a destiny roll of sixteen. What does he got? I can't say what it is for okay. though. What's he got? Um, so you see on his tray, it's mostly been robbed. And then, uh, it was just like literal garbage, like tin can lids oh. and bottle openers and all kinds of garbage. And then he swings open his, um, his cloak and there's just like a ganger tier, uh, beautiful, clean cybernetic arm just hanging in the inside of his coat. Hmm. What's that worth? Uh, a significant amount of money. I'm just grabbing the PDF. I have all this stuff in my handy PDF, but I forgot to open the bloody file. I am going to say to him, your nose has been repaired. How do you rate your healthcare service today? Oh, 10 out of 10. That was fantastic, <laughs> love. You know, usually I have to do it myself and it's uh, a little more uncomfortable. Thank you for your response. Um... <laughs> I'd say it's probably like item value four. Nice. Okay. So I, my original impression was this guy is homeless. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming I've seen this arm and I'm probably reevaluating what I'm thinking. He still looks homeless. The question is, where did he get the arm? More than like he's got multiple things. There is such a thing as black market cybernetics. Yeah, like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Can we, we do a perception check on the arm? Um, <laughs> like, is there? Yeah, make a perception. Is there stray blood on it? Oh, like a bit of like gristle and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> He's just. It turns out he wasn't the one getting beat up in the alley. Um, there's just someone <laughs> around. The other dude. There's just someone around the corner that's missing an arm. 
So make a perception check. Yeah. I'm getting it. You could be right. Didn't Songbird ha have a an arm? One, one two, legs. three. No, four, she's five. missing two legs. What's my challenge level? Okay. Your challenge level for this <laughs> is four. Yep. All right. So <laughs> oh, <nice>. he six, <laughs> um by the, the six. The arm does have like the stains of where it has been removed from someone on the tip, but it has been cleaned. Uh, and you actually recognize this as one of the like local gang um, arms. This is one brawler arm of a two part brawler arm pair. And brawler arms are basically amputee arms that have full functionality like a prosthetic arm, except they're designed for beating. The, like they have like pneumatic piss. They, power up your punches and you can punch through like concrete and stuff. So uh, where'd you get the arm? Oh yeah, I've got my ways. <laughs> I find things, I find things. That's all it is. You never know, tomorrow it could be sold. How much are you selling it for? Special price. Uh, uh, what am I gonna say today? Uh, $5,000. That's cheaper than it would cost. Commerce level equivalency? So I'm roughly working that commerce level, my commerce level zero is like zero to $10. Commerce level one is like 10 to 100 with a big range. 100 to 1,000 for two. Three would be 1,000 to 10,000 roughly. So this would be within three. So this would be a commerce, he's selling it cheaper than what they're worth. They're to get a pair of brawler arms is probably like and I can get 80 grand. And commerce is anything two levels up or one, two down is no, no penalty? Uh, two down is no penalty, correct. So I can get this. Without. Yes, although if you repeatedly do that, yeah, you yeah. will lose the ability. And for someone like you, the more you do it, the more suspicious it becomes from your yeah, family. Parents, yeah. Like, why did he just spend five grand in the slime? Why is this something you randomly are, like, drawn to? Things come in useful. I was about to say, I think it's actually a smart idea. Okay, cool. You got to play your character. Yeah, cool. No what? I'll buy it and I'll tip him. <laughs> Just like lug around his arm. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, but when I tip him, I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> I get it. No. Um, my character doesn't make that dumb <laughs> pun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it off your hands. And uh, here's a little bit extra for a bit, bit of information. Tell us about the area. What do you want to know? You know. Interesting people, characters you're aware of? Anybody moved into this area recently? Blood's territory? still pouring out of his nose. Oh, interesting people. Oh, there were, hmm. Um, there were these people from, they've been knocking around all the houses, kicking out in the doors and pushing a few people out of their, their little residences. What um, do they look like? Rough sorts, rough sorts. One of them had these uh, the crazy facial tattoos. Real mean. I sort of turned to you and like nod. Hmm. Um, but that's about it, other than normal. I mean, Ugly's place has been a bit more active lately. Um, what else? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of corp folk coming down into the slums recently. Mm -hmm. Corp folk? Any idea why? Oh, what was one of it? Um, something about offering second tier citizenship. Didn't sound very good. They were gonna do something to your balls. Oh well, dear. Fair enough. Yeah, weirdos, eh? Weirdos. Mm. Unlike us regular folk. Yep. Mm, city people are weird. Anyways, that all. Thank you very much for your purchase, sir. And I guess you pay him with what? Like, is there like? Do a, you have six thousand dollars cash? Is your, it cash or are we in like a credit system? It's you probably be in a credit system. Is he operating in Actually, a credit system? Very strangely, he pulls out like an, an advanced <laughs> like payment system that you would see in the cities, and he's just like. Tap or, tap yeah. or swipe. And you, you transfer the money, <laughs> cash, okay. which is odd that he would have that. A lot of people in the slums mm -hmm. use older forms of currency, barter Just trade. Just uh, keep an eye and make sure like- um, They actually like trade a lot in like money chips. It's effectively like universal gift cards, but you can like preload it with cash mm -hmm. and then pass it Let's just say I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Google. Give him a preloaded gift card. And, um, <laughs> and that way, if I use a preloaded gift card, do my parentals still see what the transactions are or the fact that I've bought a gift, like I've got a gift card? Um, they'll see that you've purchased the, the payment card. Yeah, no, not the not. individual transaction. You could probably keep that quiet. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, so look, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for your purchase. Friends for life now. My name's Bernie. Good to meet you, Bernie. <laughs> Oof. Friends for life, buddy. Yeah, okay, I shake his hand. <laughs> Yuck. 
Fuego bottle hits him. Pretty sanitizing. Yeah, yeah. 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 There you go. And then he just walks off into the night, leaving a trail of blood drips. I'm going to hand that arm After he gives you the arm. You're now holding the arm. My thought process being, if I'm walking around with an arm who obviously can't have an arm, at least it makes sense for a medical robot to potentially have an arm in case she was going to install an arm. I guess you could call him an arms dealer. <laughs> oh, someone said a second-hand second hand store. store. That was ha. fantastic. Ha. Oh, that is, that's ha. pretty good. good All right. Joke. So Bernie heads off and, yeah. Can I, like, wrap this thing in bandages? With what? You don't, <laughs> you don't have that on you. I feel like you wouldn't be worried about it. Right? Maybe? Just go on my merry way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so I wait up the push alley way, see you guys approaching with um, an arm. <laughs> I wave the arm at you. After talking to a weird, bleeding, uh, very <laughs> loud homeless person who seemed very um, disconcerting, sort of shrug, like, I've made some really interesting new friends. <laughs> All right. Eve's just holding this arm. Yeah, wave. Do we know where we're headed for this? Uh, You've been told where job. it is, the, okay. the address. I was going to assume we were heading back to your little base of operations. Do recon. You, when you assume, you make, you make an, an ass, ass out of me. you and me. So what's the plan? <laughs> I thought we were heading out to do this ugly job. I mean, yeah, but don't you want to do some recon? <laughs> Didn't we do that before we came out to ugly? We did recon of Ugly's place, not the place we're going to kidnap the oh, person. Well, I can do recon on the way. You do have your laptop. But if right? you want to drop off your shopping, I'd be happy to make a detour. It's probably a good idea. The laptop destiny roll. <gasps> that was a 20. Okay, so that's that, a good that thing a we like that's a 20. Good. So um, not only is the laptop like an 80% battery, but you've also got a power pack with it. So you know you've got our, you're used to I'm moving prepped. robot. You are yeah. prepped, but sometimes, you know, things drain battery faster yeah. than you want. Is there like internet cafes nearby? Is there internet cafes? Yes, um, probably, yeah. It's a bit weird. The economy is very odd. Oh, back alley, you know, where it's <laughs> comfy. <laughs> Well, uh, like corporations are completely happy to sell their services to people in the slums. Um, like mobile phones and stuff are still used. People mm, get access yeah. to them. Um, in fact, little do people know, but the people in the slums get ridiculously cheap plans compared to everyone else because the corporations are happy to keep making money off yeah. them. They don't care if they're unregistered citizens. They just do it all. Yeah. Mm. So uh, I guess... So yeah, we'll go back to the joint and drop off the arm. All right, let's do that. And while they're... We'll head back, and when mm -hmm. my intention is when they go to drop it off, I'm gonna. I'm still trying to keep on track of where these guys are that have tracked me. They down. haven't left the nightclub, the glass okay, slipper. Okay, cool. Well, I've been just checking in intimately. Oh, I'm gonna mention that. Oh, we got some information about those guys that are tailing you from uh, Bernie. For, so, sorry, Bernie. Yeah, yeah, the the, the the mate back the there, the guy. Arms dealer. Ha ha ha. Okay, out of character. That was my joke. <laughs> How dare you? That's right. Eve can the be jokes. the funny one. I, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they've been after you for a while because they've been seen around a bit. Really? Mm. Did you get an inkling for how long? And why does Bernie have all this information? Yeah. It's something I've noticed in my time in the slums is that people have information and they're more than willing to sell it. Okay, well... Let's just say I'm not one for socializing, so. No. That's useful information. It's, I guess it comes with perks. Uh, mm. how, how long did you gather? Uh, he said a while, could be a week, week two, two, three, four months, uh, six days. Shit, okay. 3.1415 hours. I start to like look pretty nervous and like, you know, paranoid and, sh you know, shove, you know, pull my hood a little further over my head and hunch and stick closer to the shadows. Cool. Head back, drop off the arm. Question. Mm. Is it possible to purchase items like that aren't cybernetics? Let's say, for example, I wanted like a tracking device. Mm -hmm. Can you buy that sort of thing? You would I know have I, difficulty. Yeah, I know I couldn't. Uh, do you mean non-cybernetic like technology, of course? Like a drone and stuff, like just general sort of Yeah, yeah, that, you can buy stuff. Yeah. Um, but most good stuff is sold in the city. Okay. At some point, you're going to have to go into the city. Um, there's like Apple store equivalent. Like it's kind it's of like today, but taken yeah. to you yeah. guys. You wouldn't know what the city is like. You think the city is 
horrible. Like the city is like this disgusting, dirty, filthy place, but it's just like the slums, but crowded and the wage slaves are running around miserably. You guys know that the city is basically- Who's you guys? Oh, sorry. You said you guys twice. So it's I'm bad at that. Uh, <laughs> so Seb and Eve, who've been in the city, yeah. uh, both know that it is very um, utopian like clean there's trees and grass and parks and people are well dressed and happy um or at least seem happy outwardly uh and it's a completely different image in fact what seb knows quite clearly from coming to and from the slums is that the city actually has a exclusion zone of roughly a whole city block between the slums and the city that is completely abandoned so there is a whole like strip of just derelict buildings and the checkpoint is on one side of that so that the idea being the slummers see this derelict block city block and that's it and then after that block it starts to get nice yeah but they don't see that they only mm. see like the immediate mm. all right yeah cool. law dump and you're taking it <laughs> so we'll go walk off back yeah, we're Do going, we have a key to your going place? to the hideout. I code or uh, I can get I'll it, probably right? will have had to have grant uh, granted access, I and I just it. sort of loom outside waiting for you guys to come out, and I'm just sort of scooping who's, out. Who's street. going in first? Me. You going first? Okay. You walk through, and as soon as you walk in, you can hear the baby crying. I give you the arm, and I will walk off. Okay, I'll take Don't the arm. There's no room. You're in like a basically a glorified storage cupboard with air conditioning units in it. Do you want me to roll for it? What you do? Mm. Uh, yeah. That's bad. Oh, destiny roll for it. So, in the context of this kind of thing, that kind of means you're going to give into your impulses rather than controlling them. I I go to the bed um, and kind of stare at it for a while and then pick up one of the pillows. Are you, is, is, you're waiting outside. What's Seb doing? Um, I'm just going to dump the arm on a couch somewhere, I guess. There's no couch. <laughs> couch. What's like on top of an air conditioning <laughs> yeah. unit? Yeah, okay. And then anyway. what, go back out to pro or are you staring at Eve? Like... You're going to pretty much be inclined to ignore Eve most of the time because she's yeah. a drone. Well, she was coming with us. So if I put the arm down, be like, are you ready to go, Eve? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start sort of muttering to myself and just saying, like, condition critical. Wait, oh, you were showing the number. Yeah, don't worry um, about me. Yeah, I'm just going to say, like, condition critical, um, life signs depleting, just kind of like weird sort of medical say them then stuff um, in character don't 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 tell us what your character's doing play your character life signs fading error error uh eve what choice do i have what choice do i make eve do they suffer do they live Hey, pro. You guys coming out or what? She's she's broken or something. Error, error. I don't hear. And I'm sort of outside the door. You're back. And I dropped the pillow. Are you, are you okay, Eve? Perfectly fine. Right. <laughs> Where is the arm? Uh, I dumped it on the air conditioning unit back there. Ready to go? Yes. Let's go. All right. I'm going to walk out, but I'm just going to be constantly giving her a side eye. <laughs> yeah, that was odd. <laughs> that was very odd. <laughs> all right, we all done with our uh, detour? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm not, uh, can I uh, have used the time while I was standing outside just to sort of prepare the path and ma like sort of check cameras on the way? and Make an Im uh, infiltration check to cool. basically check the network, follow the network. Great. Challenge level. Uh, probably challenge level. F so the path to the area. Yeah, the place we're going, I want to find the clearest, most unobtrusive and also untracked and populated path. Channel, uh, challenge level three. Cool. Three. You successfully find a route through alleyways where cameras are basically <coughs> personal cameras and gang cameras aren't really tracking. It will get you pretty much to the immediate block that the apartment is on. 
All right. I know the way, guys. Uh, follow me. I'm going to follow him and be like, have, have you seen Eve doing some weird stuff with a pillow? Weird stuff with a pillow? <laughs> what the fuck are you She's on like about? Holding it and muttering to herself. She a defective? This is where I asked the narrator, have I seen behavior like that? Let's roll a destiny roll and find out. And we're going to say hi is good for Eve. So okay. no. Yeah. We got a 12. So maybe one or two things that are <laughs> not... That Just you've, like... You've moments of, of odd behavior, yeah. but nothing nothing too serious. You've I never mean, aside seen from like I that. met her in the alley, she was... I, I She was at... A little funny, but I figured she was just displaced or I don't know, she lost her owners or something. I don't know. Why? I think she's a little different. She kind of zoned out and was, you know, life science critical holding a baby oh, or a pillow. She is a, a drone. Baby. Don't get so personal. Mm, but have you ever seen a drone do that? Well, no. Mm. No, no. Just something to think about. Keep an eye on her as well. All right, I'll keep an eye out. Cool. Anyway, what have you got so far um, about our, our the, the guy? Well, what do you know about Vinod? Well, I don't know anything about the guy, but I know exactly where to go to get to him. And I sort of show my maps and the cameras on the way and the clear path. And I'm like, so we'll get there. So whatever we do when we're there, I have no idea. That's, uh, I guess that's a team decision. Uh -huh. go team. Do we have a name? Do we have like a group name? Because this, I'm starting to feel like we're, we're a band or something. I don't know. I don't I'm going to be honest, I, I don't have many friends. Piz. So, I mean, I say the f word friends <laughs> loosely. I'm kind of taking the piss out of this whole thing, to be honest, because this is all thoroughly amusing and bizarre and really kind of something I would entirely opt out of if I wasn't going to die in a couple of days. So I'm just taking it for what it is right now. All right. Well, we'll think of a name after we get back from yeah, doing We can vote on is. that too. Yeah. Let's go. All right, so you <laughs> weave through the alleyways to make it to the apartment block. Uh, at some point, you cross into jet lag gang turf, but you're not really sure what that point is. It's a very broad and moving um, sort of area. And question. Query. Okay. Query. <laughs> um, we've crossed into this gang turf. Is there like symbolism anything relating to that that's around yeah there'd be like graffiti on the walls and maybe one or two lookouts and they probably have like a different color of something on the is it clothes. remotely similar to the <coughs> arm i just purchased no okay cool no um so right as you make your fully sort of perfect sneak through the alleyways you you reach the point where you can no longer like discreetly head there because you're now on the street corner and the apartment block is over there. Uh, there's actually two apartment blocks, one on the left and one on the right from where you are uh, on the either side of a street. Uh, and yes, yeah, so you get to the edge. Can I get the, who's leading the little group? Uh, I'd be in front because I've got the map and I'll be showing. Can uh, I get a perception check from <laughs> Fro? <laughs> That's a bad idea, oh, but Jesus. sure. I don't get my base three, so that would be two. What's the challenge the level? The challenge level for this is... <laughs> One. Okay. Oh. Environmental perception check is my disabling characteristic. So I'm, I've got my headphones going. I'm listening to music. I'm maybe not good at navigation as well. So you're yeah, like, I'm sort of like, I, I, I'd say I'm good at navigation, but not in real life. Yeah, 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 so I'm yeah. like, I'm just totally in the. I'm basically watching my needle move yeah. on the map. <laughs> it's me and Google Maps. None. Oh, I've got nothing. Dang. Cool. Love that. So Pro leads you straight out. The road, the path is clear. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. And he like head down half ducks across the street heading towards uh, where the apartment block is. Uh, and then bodily bumps into a large robot. Who does? I, you. I do. Uh, okay. Pro. Pro bodily bumps into a large robot. Because you just are like, it's clear. You look left and right. It's clear. Yeah. You pull your head out and you, you like narrow tunnel vision walk straight across yeah. the street to cross it efficiently yeah. and just straight into a robot and it's torso just like fully just go turns 180 degrees towards you while its legs stay completely cool. straight Jeez. this is not a drone this is a robot it stands maybe nine foot tall uh it is huge it is clearly military technology 
um, and it just rotates towards you and this big lens flares as it looks down on you. Do we see this? Yeah, well, you're, yeah, you were behind him. So yes, can I, definitely can I rush over, grab him by the shoulders behind the back? Be like, sorry about that, sir. He's just had a bit too much to drink and try and usher him away. Cool. Um, you don't even need to make a check. The, the, um, the robot just looks, it doesn't do anything. And um, Seb, <coughs> you, you see behind the robot, a man in a very, very well tailored suit uh, standing at the front of the apartment block to the left. So not the one that Vinod lives in. And the robot is standing there eyeing you off. And you can tell that this is like corporate security uh, robot designed to protect anyone. So if anyone made a move on this guy, they would be dead in about a second. Do we recognize, does anybody recognize mm. the guy? Um, probably not. He doesn't, he's not like a major CEO or public figure. Okay. He just looks wealthy. Yeah. Um, and you catch him talking to what looks like a landlord of the house and uh, we'll cut to him. And he just says, so get them up. It's simple. Get them up. I'm here. Get them up, 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 up. And she's like, oh, it's it's late, it's late. Um, it's nine o'clock. Some of the kids are in bed. Like, and then he's like, uh, hello, I've come all the way down here. I want to see my sponsor kids. All right. And the woman's like, okay, and like bustles inside. And then he's just like, Ugh. <laughs> you do one good thing for them, and like, oh my god, they got no idea. They're like a different kind of person, aren't they? And he says he's that talking to, that to the robot. Oh, he's just talking the to military the robot. robot. Yep. Who was with them? Well, he's like, it, it's military design. It's corporate security. So it's like a robot designed to protect people in powerful positions. So meant to protect this person. Him, yeah. Okay. Like if anyone touched him, they'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you know that innately. I'm still going to steer pro towards the door that we need to go to. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you sort of bump away and side. I want to keep way. an eye on this conversation. but okay. me Make a perception check. Uh, make a perception check. Eve, who wants to keep an eye on the conversation? Challenge rating would have been probably two, but you, you passed it. Um, so, as you get across the other side of the street and you're now standing in front of the apartment Vinod lives in, uh, you are in time to catch a group of probably like five children under the age of 10 get ushered out by a couple of adults uh, who come out into the street. And like one or two of them, the younger ones are like rubbing their eyes and like they're all in dirty like slumber clothes. Is this the building that we're trying to get no, into? No, it's on the opposite door. side of the street. Oh. So while this is all happening and they're captivated by that, mm. I'm, I'm starting to try and hack into whatever I can figure out about the other building. Vinod's okay, place. so we'll go back. I'll finish yep. this scene and we'll make the yeah, roll for that. Um, <clears throat> and the guy leans down and he's just like, hello, oh, hello. Hi, everyone. I hope you are okay. My name is Martin, Martin. And then he picks out, like he pulls out a little thing, uh, a little photo frame, and it's got photos of the children on it, like done up looking sort of nice. Um, and he's like, I am your sponsor. I've come to see how you're doing. Have you liked the food I've been providing you? And the children are like looking at each other, like, why is he talking to us? Like, we don't speak okay. English. <laughs> and they're, and, but there's a look from the adults, like a shove, like an elbow to the back. And the kids are kind of like, yes, mister, thank you very much. And you can see that this is the classic, and this is common, a city philanthropist. And there's heaps of them. Um, one of the reasons the slums basically function is through the sort of um, donations of wealthy people. There's like sponsor, sponsor a family in the slums. It's like a super common thing, as well as corporate donations, um, which are all tax deductible, of course. If, can I tell if it's being filmed? Like No. No? no. Okay, he's this guy just wants his like little ego boost for the day. Yeah, okay. Um, you, <laughs> one of the brief, I'll go briefly into this. So you know that like at some point in history, uh, people pushed for universal basic income to basically keep this slum situation from happening and to make everyone citizens. Yeah. But the corporate lobby basically pushed the government 
into not putting in universal basic income and making the citizenship system. Because what the corporate lobby realized is if we have universal basic income, they're gonna double our tax rate on our profits. Instead of doubling our tax rate, we can donate a percentage of stuff enough to keep the slummers alive and that's a tax deductible and we don't pay tax. So the corporations were basically like, we can make way more money if there's no universal basic income um, by just providing them the absolute bare minimum needed to survive and also selling them stuff if they manage to make money. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. And you make a hacking roll. Make an infiltration check. Infiltration. <laughs> what? I just read a Twitch comment. Dear God, please give us S effect back and we'll give you Martin. <laughs> <laughs> give us a challenge level. Uh, so <laughs> challenge level is actually four on this. Okay. As you start to hack it, well, Boom. you four. get there. As you start to hack it, you find more uh, more resistance than you would have otherwise expected. Well, you I mean, are now you said he was a hacker. Hmm? Didn't. Uh, Coda. Coda. Different. Mm, yeah. Not movie hacking. Like yeah. That. Um, it's specifically, it actually seems like this whole apartment building has like more gang uh, influence. So it's actually got some firewalls and some um, actual, you know, protection against it. Uh, and you base you managed to shut down the camera that's looking at um, the back entrance in the alleyway and get into it, but it's still fairly rudimentary. It's not like open networks where yeah. people's computers are all accessible. Um, it's pretty much a an apartment block. Uh, you think you could open the electric security doors as well though? Cause that's but on I need actual to get network. up to them. No, you think you could boop and like unlock the doors yeah. cause it's all electric. All right, we're done with our sightseeing here. I think I found the way in. Yeah, let's go. Not either way. Like, cool. I think I can get into the gate, but I got to get up to it. Like tapping away on my phone. Bloop, 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 bloop. And you sneak around the back. Yeah. Cool. Do you open the door? Yes. Do I need a roll? No, you already hacked the system. So you're oh, in. Cool. You're in the Yeah, you're in the apartment blocks like system, which is cameras, uh whatever like there's some lights but a lot of lights are older and just work like regular lights yeah. um, sort of central heating things like that you're in your basic apartment block systems that are all networked but Got not access in to all the google home-esque things N no, no because no. they're on their own like wi-fi well, yeah. sort of thing so you basically have broken into the apartment complex not cool. the individual people's networks which are usually way harder to break into because they have wife uh, like firewall built in and you need an access point yeah now, uh, I'm going to try and learn, learn from experience here. Uh, I'm pretty good at opening up the paths and getting us places, but I don't trust my ability to put on a show quite as much as I uh, thought I might. <laughs> it was a good show. Yeah, definitely didn't end well last How time. about I uh, do what I can to get us in and you do the talking, because you seem pretty good at that. Is, is that the way we're going? Mm. What is that plan of attack? Well, I figure if we start with a negotiation... I mean, you that have more of a history with this than I do. Yeah. But you've managed to talk people into wanting to work for uh, or towards your means more than I expected to be on. I mean, Jesus Christ, here I fucking am. That's like, fair. So, so, so what, what's our leverage with this guy? What's he likely to I don't know. Want? You're the one who does the digging and mm. does the moving. I figure... If you can make it, I mean, we don't have to walk in first. You're, you actually have some cred to you. Look at you. Jeez. Okay, question. Mm. Um, Ugly said that this guy was being used by a rival gang. Mm -hmm. Is that right? What do we know about the rival gang? You would have picked up, uh, actually make a raw intelligence check. <clears throat> a raw intelligence skill check. Also, do we want to call uh, a break when the door pops and then do the actual heist? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So when, when the door pops after like this, <coughs> maybe have five minutes for everyone. Hang on. <coughs> I feel like I feel like I need to make some edit notes to cut that you little bit saying back. That yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know, I need a visual. Just click the button. Boop, oh, boop, boop. Yeah. boop, um, boop. What's okay. my challenge level? Uh, for your raw intelligence check, challenge level probably... I'm actually going to make it scale. So there's no set challenge level, but the okay. more you get, the more you know. Am I good to roll? Go for it. Four. Three, six, three. Three. Three, three successes. Three. Um, you know a decent amount from monitoring the things. The, um, the jet lag gang uh, basically control a moderate amount of turf. Uh, their main push uh, is in uh, narcotic substances. Um, 
they uh, have several drug labs throughout this part of the city. Uh, it's and they're known to be not nice. Pro they make things messy and they don't care so much about like the status quo, which you would guess is why Ugly said like I don't like I I can do whatever the fuck I want. But I don't really want my name in getting this guy back because they'll just they won't they don't quite get it and they might make they might do some damage that no one of the other gangs would do or they don't play ball, um, so they're kind of unpredictable. Probably because half of them are on a huge amount of drugs. Okay, um, in terms of tier lists for gangs, where do they sit in comparison to Ugly? Ugly isn't Ugly's a kind of like a broker, so he has enough power and manip uh, and sort of influence to maintain his independence uh but he doesn't really have a gang per se like any of the major gangs could crush him openly even though he's amazing and he has a couple of really powerful like mm. confidants it's more like a group of agents uh and bodyguards whereas they're a gang that like the jet lag gang probably has 50 to 100 members in it in yep. this turf so like they could storm his place and blow it up with just firepower but ugly wants this coda for him ugly wants this coda is it safe to assume that Ugly would protect this person? Yeah, he protects what he wants. Okay. Um, but he also said that this guy had done some bad shit to him and he wanted him to pay the price that he'd stolen from Ugly. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I like that the thought processes that I have have to be spoken so I get an idea of where my character's sitting. Yeah. That no, way it's, I have an idea good. of what I want to do. It's cool because when you know what your character wants to do, you like boldly step into it. It's really cool. Well, thank you. Um, cool. Yeah. No ready. pressure. Do it again. <laughs> ready to go. Awesome. Yeah. So we're at the door. You're of, at like, the door. So I just like, I'm like, all right, I got you here. Laid out the red carpet. You work your magic. Oh, well, it's probably worth asking. If you somehow manage to convince him to come along with us, should we stay out of sight and find a way to liaise and meet you there? Or should you, if it doesn't go well, have some sort of signal? And I could try and prep and tap in and see what I can do to sh shut shit down if it gets messy. Yeah. Um, if you can get into the interior, keep an eye on me. Do we have voice comms? Can he talk to me when I'm inside by any chance? If you give him your phone number. Oh, and you yeah. know what? Let's set up can a secure I communication channel. On top of that, can I uh, de maybe Destin roll for it? But if I can give him a receiver sort of dongle or something that could plug into a generic device that might be lying around if he, if he manages to get the chance. Uh, to actually hack into Vinod's Just to Just network. give an easy open door. Like a flash drive that yeah. Yeah, downloads software. Yeah, we'll Pretty Destiny much. roll it. We rolled an 11. Um, so what I'm going to say is that you have... Basically like a, a connection dongle. Now it's not going to like, you haven't got the the equipment or the skills ready or with you to like download a virus that's just going to backdoor it, hmm. but you, it can give you access Easier to the closed access. network. Yeah. It's basically an open access point And when you plug it into a, to the computer, you now can hack the computer remotely. You'd still need to roll to hack it. Yeah, cool. I hand him this and like, look, I don't imagine you'll get the opportunity, but if you see one, Put this in wherever it fits. <laughs> Take my dongle. <laughs> oh my that God. could be so misconstrued. I hand you my dongle and ask you to put it, your dongle. put it somewhere. Um, I give him my phone number and say, let's set up a secure chat. Cool. Um, just keep it as good an eye on me as you can inside. If things go badly, we'll probably be leaving in a rush. Um, try and keep an area of the surrounds like, yeah, monitored I so we can... No, if anybody's coming in or out, and if anything bad happens in the surrounding suburbs, either in front or behind the house, uh, let me know as soon as I'll possible. I'll be the eyes, and if you can, uh, if you can put my eyes in the room, and I sort of like nod at the thing I handed you, all the better. Mm -hmm. Just do what you can. Sounds good. Mm. The right. door cracks open, <clears throat> and in front of you is the musty corridor of an overused and undercleaned apartment complex. There's graffiti on the walls and trash pushed up against the corners of the room. Uh, there are barred doors left and right leading up and a, a tight stairwell that leads upstairs. Something for our American viewers. In Australia, we don't really have fire escape external staircases. It's not a thing. So that vision of like a New York apartment block with the metal, no, doesn't exist in Australia. So it's all internal. <laughs> no, no escaping fires. That's true. 
Um, so yeah, you're inside. I'm inside. You're, you're inside. inside. Yeah. Was that those We're outside. outside. Yeah. You don't outside. know what room he's in. You That's just fine. know what apartment building he's held up in. <clears throat> While um, is there like a, an entryway index of where people are? Uh, there's like an old uh, sort of metal uh, in the entryway. It's like that entrance and then a second door, and there's like the metal post office slots, uh, yeah. but they just have numbers on them. So no names at all. No. Any technology that would be hackable that might be able to? It's miserably outdated. It's basically twentieth century. Not even. 21st century it this apartment block was probably built in like the 80s is there like a it's old bottom floor a few times but bottom old. floor of the apartment in one of the rooms would i find the person that owns the complex or someone that probably would be the not. landlord it's pr it's like a like a probably okay maybe like the 90s it's like a just a generic apartment block built in bulk so, so no no landlord on site no 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 Shit, how, yep. how do i find him just press every single button and someone lights at the door. There's not even intercoms. Oh, really? It's like you just walk up and knock on the doors. <laughs> okay, well then, over the our ultimate voice. foil of the campaign. <laughs> yeah, I can't find the guy. How, how many floors are there? Uh, this would be probably a six-story apartment building. Jesus Christ, how many apartments on each floor? Uh... Okay, so it's probably one of the apartment complexes that has like, like two corridors. It's sort of like a square, so there's like, um, like two runs of apartments, and then one corridor running down the middle. So there's probably like ten on each floor. Bro, you got to help me out. There's like sixty apartments in this building. <laughs> Any, any idea what floor they, is going to be They're like, like little studio apartments too. It's really cramped. See you, Casey. I got you in the door. I thought you could handle this. I sort of chuckle, but right. I, I start I trying. I can handle it. I just got to find the bloody guy. I don't know. You've seemed pretty good at finding the cheeky people so far. I don't know why I said cheeky people. Cheeky, little, little cheeky people. Um, okay, can I do some sort of infiltration or hacking check to uh, find him it's probably just not information that's available it's not so much that okay what's his name because we, we have his name this isn't his apartment oh so oh. the foil is the jet lag gang have him holed up in here he doesn't live like the, that if it was his apartment you could probably search it but you just know that the jet lag gang has moved him into this apartment building and put him somewhere uh i think in answer I think to answer your question, Seb, you're going to have to tell me if there's anything in the building I can access because I'm not seeing anything from out here. All right. Well, then I want to start walking up the stairs looking for anything mm -hmm. uh, networky. Okay. Destiny. Ooh, 14. So better than average. On the third floor, things start getting a little bit more complicated. Uh, you spot... As you round a corridor, there's actually a small table and a chair sitting in the corridor. Uh, and there's a girl sitting up against it, uh, smoking. And uh, there's just openly um, what looks like a homemade gun on the table. And um, you see this sort of thing in the slums a lot. Uh, very unreliable, but deadly often. And uh, there's like graffiti on the walls. And she's sort of sitting in front of a guarded door um, that seems to have bars on it. It's like a door and then a security door in front of it. So you don't find any technology, but you do find something very suspicious. Uh, what's the girl look like? Um, from what you can tell, she looks pretty young, probably in her early 20s. Um, <coughs> her hair is shaved completely on the sides, uh, but not on the back. And she has sort of like maybe five inches of hair, like all the way down, like but not a mohawk. It's like thick. Um, and she's wearing a popped collar jacket uh, with, you know, some gang symbols on it. She's got the colours of the jet lag gang on her jacket. She's I wearing um, baggy sort of Adidas pants. I say of the intercom, you got anything interesting yet? Is she Has she seen me? Uh, she's currently idly... S I'll make a perception check for her. Are you doing some sneaking? Uh, no, no, no. He doesn't do. He doesn't. He doesn't sneak. 
just walk in Beneath and expect me. everyone to <laughs> just be okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> do I know who? Do I know who runs the game? I'm setting my own challenge level to challenge level three. Actually, uh, two. Do I, do I know who runs the gang and do I know the second in charge of the gang? No. Would he? Uh, probably not. Who is he? You. Jet lag gang is <laughs> not, uh, right. jet lag gang isn't organized in the, it's not like organized mafia. It's not, if you, in, if you'd interacted with them a lot, uh, yes. But from your previous roles and understanding, even though it was good, no, it's not that sort of gang. It's just like, they're all much more similar tier rather than it being like a mafia hierarchy. There are leaders, but she fails to notice you. The challenge rating of two. Cigarette is just that good. She's Ooh. flicking through a magazine and smoking. And you're only just rounded the top of the stairs and you right. haven't done anything. Well, suspicious. then I'll whisper into the comms that there's someone on the third floor at the couch. Oh. Like, oh. What? My God, you're right. I missed my own rules. You did. Thanks, Twitch chat. <laughs> um, well, it's too late. You already what wrote did you nah, miss? I'm adding a dice. So bespoke's quirk is, they is that out. they stand out. They oh no no that's they get negative one d six to sleight of hand stealth and infiltration checks. So it but doesn't. You weren't being stealthy. No, no, no you weren't trying to stealth. She just failed to notice you. Yeah. I, cool. I thought it might have been plus but one. That was, yeah, but yeah. that's a good, a good uh, point. Good pick up, good pick up. So yeah, if you've been trying to hide from her, no. But at this stage, um, at this stage, she hasn't noticed. If you walk like once you do something immediately obvious because you're not being stealthy, she'll notice without a reaction. This is just because you just got up the top of the stairs. And for this five, 10 second window, she's still looking at a magazine. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Well then I, I speak through to Pro and be like, there's a girl on the third floor landing. She's sitting at a table in front of a barred door. She's got a pretty homemade looking gun sitting on the table, but she hasn't noticed me yet. Can't see any real way into it. Got any ideas for what I, how I could bullshit my way into the room? No tech. Uh, nothing, that I, nothing that I can see that I think you'd be able to access, no. Well, I break tech, you bug people out. <laughs> Honestly, I've known you very little, but you seem to be someone who gets to where they want through people, so I don't know. Does Eve have any ideas? Seb, what magazine is she reading? What magazine is she reading? Do I see that? Perception check. Yeah. Mate, I have 20 20 eyesight. I'm perfect. That's why you have such a high perception score. <laughs> That's true, actually. I don't know why I, re I repeated that because I thought you said that to my character for no. half a second. And then I'm like, four. <clears throat> Seven. It just sounded like I was totally taking One, credit two, for your idea. Three, four, five, six. Uh, she looks like she's reading an old nudie mag. Oh. <laughs> I. She's reading an old nudie mag. That's real. Male or female? I tried to say it as politely as possible. <laughs> Mail. Nudie magazine day. <laughs> it's not even that bad. It's like the old zoo magazine. It's like, it's like not actually all that bad. Male or female interest. Does it matter? Yeah. Okay, there's a girl on the cover. <laughs> it's a girl. Okay. What an odd question. I mean, we could, could give you things to use to your advantage, yeah. but that's true. That's true. That's, that's, that, that it's, that's 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 a good true. question. <laughs> okay, I like to you play things, but it. I have no idea. I'm going to walk up Seduce your way her. in there. Do it. You walk up to her. Yeah. She notices and her eyes dart to you immediately and then narrow. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a meeting with Vinod. <laughs> her hand just gently rests on her gun and she says, who do you work for? I would like to say the name of the company that my family works for. Ah. Make it up. Okay, so you do. Um, Corp tech. Make a persuasion share. <laughs> Challenge <Sweet> level. <laughs> hmm? Challenge level for this persuasion. Oh, well, it's opposed, I guess. So maybe this is a deception check because you're not really on behalf of them. Depends what your parents do though, right? Can I assist my still deception opposed. with my persuasion? Hmm. Okay. Is that a yes? Can you assist with just my? Can I assist my deception with my persuasion, or am I just rolling flat persuasion? If you'd like to make an assist roll, you can. With deception, you're kind of lying and persuading. One, two, one, one extra win. I think you're going to do all right. What's my challenge level? Yeah. You don't have one because it's opposed. It's opposed. Oh, okay. So 
Me first or you first? Sorry. You go. You, you have Smash to roll your proper roll. One, two, three, four. Three. All right, so you succeed by two because you got the additional win. Um, she looks at you and she's like, well, I'm not all right, but I've been told not to let anyone in. I don't know what to tell you. I was told to come here and meet Vinod. Where's your proof? Uh, word of mouth, I have no proof. I was told by my contact to come here. <laughs> she pulls out a phone and starts to dial a number. Who you are calling? The boss. I'm just checking this out. I said that out loud so he'd know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to fucking do about this. Uh, Terrible reception around here, though. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, okay, jeez, fuck. I believe it's listed specifically in your cybermancy tree. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Let's say, um... <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, Let's thanks for... <laughs> Let, let's say, like, challenge level four, create enough interference while concentrating to prevent a single system from functioning, e.g. a cybernetics limb or turn off a security camera or a phone, for example. Okay. Oh, I'm CL, useful. Yeah, CL4. CL4. Hey, challenge level four. Okay. And you can do this uh, as it's within, it'd probably be a radius, but you're probably within, like, 30 meters, so you'll be right. Cool. And you can see her through a camera. All right, I'm going to uh, start again and bug out the phone. Thanks, man. <laughs> Uh, three or four. four. Yeah. As she starts to dial her phone, the the screen just like stops responding and then like glitches out, and she's like, "Fucking god!" <sighs> Wait here, and then she pushes up out of her chair, grabs her gun, and like strolls like uh, deliberately up and across to another apartment, uh, and. You probably sort of don't have off. to wait there, Seb. You imagine that she's going off to go to like another ganger in the house to check their phone or whatever. But she walks off for the moment. I feel like my character's going to die. <laughs> back. Um, we got you back. We got you back. Are you going to enter the building at this point or are you just guys just staying outside? I turn to Eve and I'm like, I know this is, this guy's new, but he's got balls. Yes. Made of brass. Maybe titanium. <laughs> Mut we, are, we share a mutual respect for this weird dude. How the hell did we end up here? How did I end up with you? I don't know. My mind's warping. Is How are you doing in there, Seb? Oh, sorry. I hey, sorry. What would you is like the to guy know? across the street still there? Is he gone now? Uh, he's made a bit of a ruckus and now he's leaving. Okay. He's roughly wrapping I up. I just want to keep an eye out for like people who are entering and leaving the building. Okay. Currently, no. Cool. Seb, what you doing? We stay in put or are we uh, going to try and follow along and duck out of sight? Go where she went. How? I mean... How are you... She's left the door. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to yeah. go in. I'm, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to say... Uh, to pro like she's gone to gone to do something but i feel like this could end badly i need you to be ready to make a pretty large distraction like i said if you can put that little thing in something i can be more useful but uh yeah i'll do i'll do what i can man all right i walk in it's locked yeah 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 fuck you hear some a noise from inside what do you want i have a job offer footsteps come across wait you're not and then the door opens and you're looking at Vinod mm -hmm. who is a man probably of um he looks to be of Indian descent but um with sort of a Caucasian mix in there at some point we don't have a line of so like he's not sharing any vid feed or anything at all just audio you have a rough cameras like in the corridors only so you have like one angle camera looking down that corridor okay and um yeah, he looks at you. He's, like, sort of disheveled. He has a short beard. Uh, his hair is kind of wild. He's got sunken bags under his eyes and loose-fitting clothes. And he's just like, what? Is he a... From his appearance, would I assume that he is a, a valid citizen? No, he's a slummer. Cool. I'm just going to interrupt at this point, and I look at Eve from the outside, because I'm watching him in that moment. Now I know, like, 
if this goes bad, he's a sitting duck. Um, so I just signal to Eve, maybe we should head inside and just meet at a halfway point just in case we need to intercede. Agreed. We start sneaking in to get closer to sort of where he was when we first intercomped. What's the job <coughs> offer? Vinod, my name is Sebastian Allen. I represent a company name that my parents work for. We've heard about your skills through the grapevine and we want to offer you a job working for us. This job comes with a specific specific set of perks, but you have a very short period of time just to actually you know, respond to this. So if you don't respond within the next 30 seconds, it's off the table. But we will offer you a full citizenship and a paid job and protection from your current hosts. Make, uh, make a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> as you're speaking, like, He's holding, he actually just drops a bowl of cereal on the ground and the spoon drops to the ground and his mouth like sags open and he's just like, someone's just walking through the door and be like, sir, here is a briefcase with $10,000 in it. Happy, happy Christmas. One, two, three, four, five, five. Actually, you rolled no threes, so... I rolled no threes, yeah. Five. And I will roll his counter, which Whoa. is five. Can I destiny it? You can. Fuck yeah, I destiny Wow, he was sus on that. He looked shocked, but man, that's five successes on five dice. Five, he looked, yeah. He looked very, like, suddenly this, like, pull that's of, like, this is a con, this is a con. He suddenly, he got excited, and then it's like, this is too good to be true. It's a 3% chance of him getting that roll. So that it takes destiny to <laughs> pull that in your favour. Well done. Yeah, that was. Oh. Are you you're, a, a you're a sharp yeah, stick. I already rubbed it out. It's done. Okay. At the last minute, he his eyes. He just like rubs his eyes and he's like, "Where is she? That bitch who keeps me in here." I said, "We've no time. Come on." And I walk he just off. pulls the door open. He run, he's like, "One second, one second. He grab, runs back and he grabs like a laptop, a bag, and he's like, "Let's go, let's go." Yep. And we fang it down the stairs. Cool. Uh, and I'm like, uh, we're on our way at it. We need a distraction. Stay ahead of us. Cool. You say that to yeah. Over, over the he man starts man. bolting down the staircase behind you. Oh. <laughs> need a distraction. Need a distraction. Uh, I've got cybermancy. Can you, what can I do to like? Can you turn the power out in the? Yeah, building? I was going to say. What can I do to spark out I, the building or like do some sort of? It, can I set off an alarm in the opposite building or something like that? Like a fire alarm. Something. Yeah. Just want to. <laughs> Like, some what, shit out. like one thing, like one item, or are you trying to be more widespread? Actually, can I? I say, um, as we hit the staircase and, and we start heading down, I say to, to Pro, be ready to close the doors and shut power to the building. I got you. We'll lock them in there. That's yeah. My, my thought process. Cool. Yeah. It's a big one. Uh, and so, in which case, if I set off any sort of sprinklers or alarm, people are going to be inclined to leave. But. If I, maybe if I can have something explode, people we are going to- We could put into lockdown. That means they stay in their buildings and <clears throat> wooden power off. If I can disconnect some sort of network or people from being able to reach each other, much like the phone thing, people tend to then want to investigate what's causing that problem and look in their immediate surroundings or to their, mm. the things that serve that thing. So, like, I'm probably going to try and shut down a network because people are always dependent upon the things that, like, that sort of thing, right? What's your um, vocation? Uh, my vocation is hacker at one point. As a hacker. Make a vocation skill check using hacker to determine if you would know the best approach to shutting down the network to the place. All right, thanks. Good, uh, challenge level? Uh, challenge level three. Three. Cool. Four. Four. You know that to do that, the easiest way to do it would be to do it physically uh, and basically just open the fuse box and pull the power. The fuse box on the outside or inside the building? It's, do I know where the fuse box is? Does he know where the fuse box is? Destiny roll. Eight. That's an 18. That an 18. That's an 18. Not only do you know where it is, it's actually in the inside, like in that middle entryway where the like letter boxes are. There's a there's a fuse box there, and you can right. pull power to the building or part of the building. All right. And you that hacker vocation roll let you know, um, sort of like what, like lights. Yeah. It's this that. So you could probably just pull like all the internet and phone services. Put them, yeah. So I um. 
so not shut down power, but specifically the internet network. networks and yep. stuff and cameras and all that. I get yep. straight into that. You pull, pull that out. out, and I also get everything else Ooh. ready to just doosh, pull. your net, your connection to the thing just like fizzles out. Yeah. Oh, to, to, but not to Seb. No, no, no. But your computer then like you were hacked into this. It all just disconnects because it all goes down. So you know yeah. that it's down because okay. all your, your hacked laptop just goes like, boop. No, all right, no Seb, I've, I've shut down their network. Uh, at this point you could probably run. And as soon as you get here, I'll lock it all up. Sounds good. Cool. You guys sprint down the stairs. Uh, as you get to the ground floor, you hear a shriek of annoyance from above as someone sees the door mm. open and you can tell that she knows uh, and you bolt out the door pull the power to the whole building mm -hmm. and just bolt with them. And shut and the I, door? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, shut and jam or whatever. Uh, well, I mean, if it, I use the code thingy to get in, so I'll just like scramble. So in it. the case of a power outage, it would automatically unlock. It wouldn't lock because okay. of safety. So you could manually try and bar it or something if you want to. Yeah, it's a yeah. destiny roll to see if there's anything nearby yeah. to grab and shove in its way or <laughs> Too a, bad you don't a have bar to put in the... 11. You can rustle something up. You're not sure how good it will be. You could like tie it with some, there's a bit, there's like a dirty shirt that's left in the alleyway. You could like wrap around and tie. I don't waste my time. Okay. We're just bolting. Yeah. Um, yep. But can I roll or Destiny or a little check roll or whatever to see if like, I, I would have planned the route back. Yep. You already know the safest, best okay. route back. Cool. Um, and Eve, can I get you to make an athletics check? You don't have good athletics, do you, Eve? And I've got minor strength, so... You have... Uh, you have, in fact, got, I believe, <coughs> two dice for... You, you lose, so you have negative yeah. one strength, so you will just yeah. have two dice. Because okay. you also, as a, as a drone, aren't allowed to put skill points in. Uh, your challenge rating okay. for keeping up with these guys is actually going to be set by how fast they go. So don't tell me the result, but keep okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't see. Yeah. Okay. So can I get the two of you to make an athletics check as well? The two of us. Uh, sorry, Seb the and two Pro. Of us. The yep. two people that aren't Eve at the table. <laughs> the two of us need to look no more. <laughs> All right. I've just got the three. So. Cool. Uh, two. Yep. I'm gonna. Ma I'm just gonna match with you're that. You're gonna match okay. that. So yeah. you go two. If you succeed that, yep. So you're much faster being a bespoke, but you can keep pace with uh, with pro. Uh, and what did Eve get? Two successes. Okay, so you all keep the same pace, and you head on out. Are we? Am I caught up to them? Yeah, you're yeah, all, we're you all caught together. up, and then with four, you caught up, and then I should probably roll, roll for old mate. Can suck, 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 suck. Vino no. keeps up. No, that's good. Vino keeps Vinod up. Is the guy oh, okay. Takes. So you all oh, got two Vino. successes. Okay. I thought this was there. No, no, I got it wrong. That's the good this thing. Is the this is the one we want to suck. Did we do anything to the door? And it doesn't no. suck. She, no. it, she keeps she keeps pace with you, but you uh, you have a head start to the point that you're in the city streets in the slums. You yeah, round two corners before she even sees you. Yeah. Okay. If she'd rolled really well, she would have yeah. caught you, but yeah, she fair. just was running the same pace as you cool. and probably actually got to the street and then was like, but I'd like planned like the nearest corner. Yeah, you? and you're all you got ahead, and everyone kept up. Oh yay! yay. And you all get yay. out together. Can so wait, like we're away scot free. Is that what's happened? You basically bolt, and <clears throat> for now you feel like you're away scot free. You're well, two, you're now a city block away, unless there's something you want to do in between. At this I point, just, I'm trying to like refrain from laughing out loud walking? in shock because you fucking do it every time. You can walk in and be like, "This, this, this." You yeah, now, yeah. let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, what the like, hell? But this is probably one of your first times interacting with a bespoke for a long time, and and they kind of they like said makes you feel a little bit inferior yeah. like at the base level. He oh, seems yeah. to just process, like operate at a higher level than other people. Yeah. Damn bespoke. Yeah. Um, so we're heading back to yours. Vinod's keeping pace with you. I, I figured we're going straight to uglies. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Oh, can we stop running now? Uh, nope, still got to keep going. Okay, <laughs> yep, fair enough. The jet lag gang won't be happy with me leaving. Um, is it safe to assume the jet lag gang has their own equivalent of pro or a hacker or, or a surveillance person that's going to be trying to keep track of us a little bit left. but you have a feeling he was going to be it the jet lag gang doesn't operate on oh that. so we we think it was going to be vinod yeah oh, potentially okay. that he was going to be well like a coder for them okay um why else would they steal him but you yeah. don't know anyway so moving on query where are we going we're going where we came from you know we safe don't house home Boss. 
Uh, not yet, I don't think. We need to make sure we've cleared them before we try and re-enter the city. Okay. Oh, you're just sure. lying. That was no. I'm trying to speak in code. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw the like lying. the eyes. Oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I say sa safe house first. All right. Yep. Let's lie low. Deal with it later. Cool. So, where are you actually heading? To my joint. To your joint. Yeah. You get there. You open the door. Vinod is just like, uh, what is this? We just need a place to lie low while uh, the heat drops off before we try and move you into the city. Okay. Uh, and he cramply gets oh, in there. Uh, I'll approach him. The four of you can barely fit in there. Eve approaches him. Hello, my name is Eve. E okay. What is your name? Uh, my name's Vinod. Um, so anyway... Uh, can I call you Vinod? While she checks out your health, uh, we can hate do a mandatory health check on you. I'll give him... A mandatory health check? Yeah, you know, you, you've been okay. working this place, making sure, sure you're right. th That's what the medical bot's for. Yeah. Okay, right. All right. Uh, what do you need to do? Pro, do you think you could reach out to corporate and see if we get assistance transporting him to the city? Oh, you know I can. Thank you. Cool. Do you mean Make a um, survival check. Um, with that little intermission there, I'm mm. just, I've told him to reach out to corporate to get yeah. transport to the city. Yep. I'm hoping. What do you get out of that? Yeah, okay, good idea. Yep. Um, Getting a pickup to yeah. someone you from Uglies to shove them in a van. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Spot on. Someone to come here with a big black bag sack thing, shove it on his head and take him out of a van. Meanwhile, <laughs> at Uglies, sitting next to Ugly, a dead man's phone starts to ring. The one phone that you haven't been disconnected from. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, a man picks up. Yo! It's s -effect. Hello. So, I'm sorry. Uh, it's who? S effect. Uh, I'm going to ask you questions about that later, but uh, I need to speak to Ugly now. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bloody prick. <laughs> it's me, Ugly. You're speaking to me. Did I get you? We got the cargo. You want to come pick it up? No, bring him here. That was the whole point, was I'm not meant to be connected to it. Oh. Drag his scrawny ass down here. I want to see him. Sure. I hang up on him. Like, and then hangs up. I really don't like that guy. <sighs> Corporate being assholes again. Oh, you know it. Goddamn city dwellers. <clears throat> it's all right. All right, we're going to have to organize so our own transportation. All right, all right. Can I um, peek out the window and check for people like looking for us? Yeah. No one seems to be looking for you. Yeah, okay, you don't cool, seem right. to have been followed. All right. Well, I'm going to just portray with confidence. So I'm like, yeah, it looks like there's still a bit of heat out of there. What we might do is just lay low for a bit, get some food, and then we'll, uh, we'll, try, and get a, some, uh, we'll try and go to the rendezvous later tonight and head into the city. Yeah. I know you're... Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to go get my health check. Uh, we, we're, I turn to Vinod and I'm like, we're really big on taking care of people's health. I, they don't do it very well in the slums. Uh Eve, come with me for a sec and we'll get mine out of the way. And I sort of like take her a bit out of sight if that's possible. And I like mention to her while like m miming having a health check. We need to sedate this guy. What have you got? <laughs> she has neurofin for kids. Yeah, I'm so honest. <laughs> um, I kind of pick up like, I kind of point to the arm and like... <laughs> Surely she knows ways to but phys physical weak points. Uh, no, of she's a child <laughs> care robot. Uh, and they're not strong. Yes, they, they're like, let's program in how to strangle someone uh, unconscious into this child care we, robot. We, 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 I also pointed the pillow. Oh. <laughs> we might have to... Uh, Is there a chemist around here? Well, got I was about to say the same got thing. A, um, got yeah. a spark and headache, and uh, I think I need some uh, some painkillers. Yes. I'll uh, pick up some lunch on the way out. Yeah. Or dinner for us, sorry. No worries. I'll. Uh... Do you require my assistance? No, 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 it's fine. I need a, something a bit stronger than uh, children's painkillers. <laughs> okay. And I turn to Vin and I'm like, yeah, uh, this is a big opportunity, but big part of the transition is being patient, so just chill. 
and I put my headphones on and hood it back on and sort of slump against the wall. He's just like, that's fine. I'm used to being crammed into a tiny bolt hole. Fair. Um, if that's the case, I'd like to leave and find the nearest chemist. Okay. Uh, you find not or someone. Can Bernie. I look? <laughs> what? You're Bernie. Can I look for Bernie? <laughs> you may. Make um, a perception check as you scout the streets. <laughs> Meeting up with B without me. Three. Uh, tell you what, keep that. Hold on to three. That's decent. Take the dice away, and then I want everyone to just be polite and not look at this destiny roll. <laughs> how much I respect you. Unfortunately, with the seven, you do not Fuck. find Bernie. Oh. Okay, is there a chemist around or, or somewhere? There is a uh, corporate, basically like a medical, almost charity centre, uh, but everywhere's closed. It's Including like that place? PM. Yeah. Fuck. It's Australia, there's no late night shopping. Is there anywhere to get food? Surely there's a place to get yeah, food. Yeah, you can get food. So there's like street hawkers and stuff in the nightlife area, Booze? which is like a half a block over. Booze? Um, yeah, booze as well. Strong so booze. to cover off on it, the van is only like two city blocks deep and it runs in a band. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So where you are is always close to the action. You're always close to like the band of nightlife and, and all the stuff that the city folk come to. What so. was it that Ugly was drinking? It was a gas Moonshine, on? Moonshine. Basically. How, what is that going to do to a non bespoke? Get them really, really, really drunk. Probably it dangerously awful. throw up drunk and be very hard to drink. With how little? Not much. It's 90% alcohol. Cool. I would like to find action. a hawker to get some food and some moonshine. Okay. You you managed to do that pretty cool. easily. It's then I, then I head back mm -hmm. and I would like to give everyone food and then propose a toast to Vinod and New Beginnings. Cool. He accepts the toast. Yeah. Uh, and takes a sip of this and he's just like, no, no, no. Shot it. I, I shot it and be oh. like, come on, mate. <laughs> Persuasion. That's Not even. And this is a strength check for him. Uh, he shots it and then spends the next two minutes like <coughs> <coughs> trying to be tough, but it's just like, <coughs> and he's got like drool coming out of his mouth and he's like, thank you, sir. That was very strong. Sir, do you require medical assistance? Yes. <laughs> I go get him like a glass of water or yeah. something. And <laughs> I kind of tip mine into the Would you like, you like some while he's children's here? <laughs> him across the head with the arm. How about some yes. multivitamins? <laughs> I'd like to do that. Uh, okay, make a. Uh, make Would you like to hear roll. a joke? <laughs> you don't have any proficiency with bludgeoning people, do you? No. <laughs> Base three and then three. Um, does this come with a weapon proficiency? No. It's just like a... Uh, so it's just my base three and then my attributes, yeah? Actually, we'll call it plus one. It's a good arm. It's a bloody good arm. Is, so this, is this the robotic arm? Yeah, I'm yeah, smacking him across the head while he's the back of the head he while he's spluttering. Yeah. <gasps> um, oh, wait, so it's just... I keep dropping dice. So it's just a combat roll. So base three plus your attributes, so six uh, plus one for the arm. And you have no proficiency, so... One, two, three, four. Okay, so he has four dice for his combat roll. I'll let him, he's not gonna be able to hurt you, he's not trying to, but just if he dodges out of the way or he gets two successes. Uh, so you have a two success or two level victory on him. So can we assume that the moonshine gave him a victory level? I'm gonna destiny roll him. Oh, that was Can I hit him again? You smack him over the back of the head and I'm, at, just at this point, uh, his scalp open and he drops to the ground and blood comes out and he like coughs under the ground and he's just like, what, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> he's definitely not unconscious. What, 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 what's the, can I see the cheat sheet? What are my options for a victory level two? Uh, minor injury, hang on, hang on, hang on. medium. I'm going to assist here with a survival check. Okay. To, can, can I use a, a survival to assist to like, I'm going to say you didn't know it was happening. So, oh really? Because he just picked up the arm and clubbed him. You <laughs> oh, weren't expecting it. Okay. But next time, certainly. There now was always a reason that we got that arm. Yeah. It's, it's it all comes full circle now. <laughs> oh, really? Like, he's like, why are you doing this can to I, me? You can can, I, you got to say something like, "Let me give you a hand." He's I like, <laughs> yeah. And take. The Don't arm worry. From you. There's no arm in it. From him. Yeah. So it looked like that. I beat him over the head, not Seb. Sure. <laughs> Oh, okay. do you? So you reach out for the arm? Yeah. Well, he's on the back. 
and coming back up. Yeah. I'll give it the arm. You just get to, you don't even need to make us. Oh, uh, <laughs> make us. What is happening? <laughs> He's not even going to resist. He, I mean, he gets one dice. So make a sleight of hand. Rob is huge. <laughs> Why are you huge, Rob? I don't know. He gets one dice. He fails. So you now roll your sleight of hand. Jack. I just wanted to knock him out. He has negative sake. two. Well, in movies, it's great. You punch someone in the head, they go unconscious. In real life. I smacked him in the head with a metal and he's arm. You've split the back of his head oh, open. Wow. You get one success. Um, he spins around and like looks at you and sees the arm in your hand. It's just like, what the hell? I'm assuming by this stage I've clued into what's going on. Yes, now you have. So I leap up to the back and, and uh, try and... What are you guys trying to achieve? I don't trying know. To knock we're, out. we're just Why? fumbling about to incapacitate him to take him there. I thought we could have just walked him down the street, <laughs> but now we've got a body he to move. Who ugly is? Uh, ugly, ugly gave you a sack. Remember? Oh yeah. He threw you a head-sized sack and was like, "You might need this." This is the Why? situation we're in now. We've got to fucking deal you with got it. The head sack. <laughs> it's, all right. it's all right. Okay. Um, we. It's going to be pretty hard to convince him that we mean no harm at this all stage. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So wait. <laughs> okay. Also, I destiny rolled to see if he'd get knocked out, and I rolled a six, which is bad for the players. So yeah, if yeah, I rolled right. high, he would have been unconscious, but he didn't get knocked. <laughs> okay. It's, okay. I'm very badly hurt, but I'm not unconscious. <laughs> okay. okay. So Eve has the arm. He thinks Eve. No, I don't. I got, I got yeah, no, you do have the arm. Oh, I do have, oh. So Eve has the arm, yep. and, and, and he, he thinks, thinks you just smacked him with an arm, and he's kind of like his mind is being blown right now. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'm just going to try and run with it and be like, "What the hell, Eve? Pro, sedate her!" And then I'm going to get down on his level and like cradle his head a little bit, like yep. stay still. You've got a crack in the back of your head. Yep. As I slowly <laughs> choke him unconscious. <laughs> I'm assisting. I'm assisting. I'm assisting. Let me roll. <laughs> Uh, can I assist with survival? <laughs> can I assist with survival? I yeah, like you're sure. Doing this Make a survival me. check. Yeah, I assist with survival. Do yeah, I also do a survival roll for my choke? Yeah. Uh, and then I want you to make a survival check. So you neither help nor fail. No. All right, you turn. make a survival check. Uh, challenge yeah. level four. Ooh. Negative. One. I'm gonna destiny it again. Okay. <laughs> Shh. You put a destiny into it yeah. and. And he's like, all right. And you basically like, you don't really know what you're doing, but you just choke him out to the point of unconsciousness. Seb. And he oh passes, and Vinod goes unconscious. <laughs> There's blood on your lap. Seb. What the, what the fuck, fuck, Seb? <laughs> we need Jesus Christ. He gave us a black bag. He could have asked him nicely. He was eager, dude. Yeah, well, now we can bag him. It's going to be easier. Yeah, easier to t transport a fucking body across the street. That's way more inconspicuous. Jesus Christ, your street smarts aren't as good as your social smarts. I have no street this, smarts. This guy could, people are like, this guy could have been your this fourth is what party you member. Do. You God. just beat the shit out of him. Do you know what? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm learning that I'm all for you, like, making these, like, negotiated decisions. <laughs> But please don't make the fucking practical ones. My God. <laughs> I didn't see you doing anything. <laughs> How much? All right. All right. I, I, take... put, I put the bag on it. Actually, no, no. I flip him over and say, Eve, check out his head. Make sure he's not going to die. Yeah, he's not going to die. Okay. All right, cool. Oh, you already did his... a... It kind of, you guys were talking a bit. You already did a check. Okay. I'll so I put the bag on his head and I wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Before you... I mean, what do we need a fucking bag for? Because there might still be people out from the uh, jet lag game looking for him. Well, are we, aren't we some distance from? You're like a, a full city block away, but they might be looking. They might be looking for him. I kind of look at the bed sheet. I'm pretty sure if they came across people with a black bag over someone's head, they'd probably just be as flagged. He's as, more likely to know. But that it's than more I the will. people who aren't part of that gang looking for someone who might be also pretty I shocked sh by people dragging someone What's with a black bag over their head. Bag head or not? No bag head is my Sorry. vote. You forget who I am. Put the bag on his head. I Can I also suggest? Do you have a change of clothes? I don't. I'm fucking out. Whatever. Okay, you bag his head. Does he have a change of clothes? Yeah. You want a bag? Can we put him in his clothes? <laughs> you're not taking. Put, you're not touching my clothes. Yeah, I want. I want him in a, in a change of his clothes. I'm or, sick or of your a, ideas. A change your of proactivity clothes. is exhausting. A, a change of clothes to make him more disguised. You. You, uh, you'd like to put? Are you have. He's no. not touching my clothes. Okay, my so clothes. No. And someone's clothes. I have very few clothes. clothes with you. Okay, fine. My, dress. my sense of personal fine. space is greatly fine. diminished. We, we, 
put, you the, put bag the bag on his head, head yes. slams him over my shoulder. And are you, have you got strength? I've got one. I, I'm happy for you to just be able to carry him. He's yeah. a fairly light thin cool. guy. And you walk out of the hidey hole with a uh, body over your shoulder and head to Uglies. Cool. Okay. About half. That was far more eventful than the last portion that I expected it to be. Ooh, Ooh that's good. About half. We rolled a twenty destiny roll. You did roll a twenty on the destiny roll. About halfway, uh, a hunched over off. lanky man in a green duster pops his head out with a little thing, and he's like, "Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you again, Seb. Hey Bernie. Hey." Are you selling or buying? And he points to the body on your shoulder. Uh, selling, selling. Selling? Oh, yeah. no worries. How much? Uh, no, no, he's already got a buyer. Sorry. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> nice. Would you like uh, any of my wares? I'm back uh, in the human trafficking business. Oh, jeez. This is so wrong. <laughs> a, cu- a, couple of, a couple of people walk down the street uh, and, like, see you holding the body, but they just give you the, like, evening nod and keep walking. <laughs> It's going no up. one cares. <laughs> no one cares that you have a body on your shoulder. At cool. Uh, nothing today, Bernie. Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah. And you got into the new, actually. I rolled a private destiny roll. No one gets to see it. Uh, he's like, I do, in fact, something to replace that nice little item I sold you earlier. And he opens his uh, coat. And <laughs> it's, it's the right arm. You open the, the coat, and um, in the same spot that the arm was there, there's just a pigeon hanging by its feet. <laughs> A dead pigeon in his in his coat. I'll give it to you for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it. For, don't you go. Oh, I'll pass this time. Oh, uh, well, you, have a, you have a bloody good evening. And he's still wearing the rag that's pulled up around that's all blood soaked, but his bleeding does seem to have stopped. Query, do you have any sedatives or such? I might have just the thing for you. And he opens the other side of his coat and there's like a little police cudgel hanging from the other side of his coat. (laughs) I like Uh, this guy. Thank you. I will not require your services today. Love you and leave you. I got customers to go to. Bye bye. (laughs) And he just walked off. All right, we arrive at... You get to Uglies. uglies. You say the code. We make our way in. You go downstairs. And Ugly is sitting there, and he's like, hey, how's it going, guys? Come on in, come on in. Uh, walking up. Yeah, yeah, okay. We come on in. Is there an empty stretch of the bar that I can put this guy on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I just put him on I, the bar. Slap him on the bar. And yeah. uh, Ugly waltzes up. He's not dead, is he? <laughs> Last we checked, he was still breathing. No. He pulls the bag off the guy's head, um, and then just goes over to the bar and pours <laughs> alcohol on Vinod's face, and Vinod starts to wake up. Um, and then he's like, Johnny! And uh, Johnny walks over with large lumbering steps. Would they call him a Johnny Walker? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, he did pour out the spill that is Johnny <laughs> Walker sorry, on the table. I'm sorry, I'm um, sorry. Johnny on. walks over and before Vinod even has time to fully come to, Johnny just places one hand on his torso to like hold him to the bar. And then he says, uh, Ugly says to the lot of you, you did really well, guys. You got him to me. He seems all right. Thank you. It's going to have a hell of a hangover. <laughs> it looks like it. Vinod starts panicking immediately when his eyes focus on Ugly, and he's like, you're, you're not the city corpse? Ugly? Oh, f- oh shit, shit, Ugly, Ugly. Oh, ugly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it. I give everything back. It's all fine. And Ugly just leans in. Shh, 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 shh. It's fine, mate. It's all fine. You work it off just like the others. And he grabs um, Vinod's hand and like lifts it up with disgusting strength. You can just see his muscles like pulsing. And he just like pushes into his hand and pushes, splays his fingers out from each other. And he's like, such delicate fingers, but they do good work, don't they? (sighs) But I need to make sure that you don't screw me over again. So, and he just like slides his hand almost romantically down the side of like Vinod's like torso, down his thigh, down to his leg. And then in a motion that is almost a blur, he grabs the uh, Vinod's shin and then like strikes in the side of his knee. And you just hear this sickening snap as he breaks his leg at the knee, uh, like splits his leg sideways and Vinod's like screaming violently as soon as that happens. Uh, And then he just puts his hand out and Johnny hands him a saw 
and on the bar, he just starts hacking his leg off at the at the waist in front of you. And uh, Johnny's other hand comes down and just like clamps on his thigh and crushes in so it like to stem the bleeding like a tourniquet. <laughs> and you guys, there's just screaming and violence. It's just horrifying. And then, but within moments, it's done. And he throws the leg over his shoulder. I lean over to Eve and say, I'm going to say at this point, you don't offer medical assistance. <laughs> and then, um, nah, mate, she can patch him up. It's all good. Here's the deal. You work for me and you don't piss me off again. In three months, I'll give you a leg. You keep working for me. I'll keep giving you fusion. Good deal, isn't it? And then he just slaps his face and he says, you work for me now, Vinod. Now, Johnny, get him out of here. <laughs> and he just like, by the, the leg stump, slings him over his shoulder and walks out through the door. And Vinod's crying and screaming and blubbering the whole time. <sighs> Speaking of fusion. Yeah. And he pulls out, uh, he actually walks back over to his chair that he usually sits in and walks back with a fresh canister of fusion and hands it straight to you, bro. How long is this going to last me? It's a full, full canister, seven doses. I don't know how much tech you got in you, mate. So out of character, that's... Seven doses is seven weeks for Great. you. Cool. Does he just give us the one vial? <clears throat> is there mm -hmm. a way to transfer vials so that I can half off? Well, I mean, don't share needles. That's basic, but it is basically like an insulin pen, so, uh, so replaceable you, cap. So you I can, can I can give a dose yeah, you can replace to the this needle. girl through. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 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 All cool. right. Great. All right. <laughs> well, uh, tonight's been eventful, but this has all been the means to an end. No, 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 no. This has been your induction, boys and girl. You wanted jobs. You wanted your foot in the door. Well, Ugly's got plenty of work for you. We can make sure you meet all your goals. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to convince you to stay. All of a sudden, Pro's not quite sure this is the door we might have wanted to, to go through. And he just grins sickeningly and he says, um, now, how about you guys tell me exactly what Ugly can do for you? I reckon we can end it there. I yeah, think that's a great place to wrap it up. Oh my God, did that go places. <laughs> that was a very eventful and there was, there was, there was, there was a, there was a there lot. Was a there lot, was a lot. lot. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the gruesomeness, guys. That was great though. Well done, everyone involved. That was fun. And thank you for watching. My God, that end chunk is just like, God, it can pick up quick, can't it? Like, oh. Someone just said, guess we know what happened to Songbird. Yeah, I saw that. I am I was so terrified my character was going to get shot. Yeah, that's fair. You <laughs> did a really so good job of um, role-playing, role though. Like that, oh, that yeah. Speech you're, like, you're, yeah, yeah. Look, you're like offer and the instantaneous nature of it and knowing that the... Ah, yeah, so yeah. Good. Really Let, good. Let's uh, continue to praise ourselves in stream once we finish this video, <laughs> but <laughs> let's wrap up now to say that's thank true. you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe Take and the like chat to the Discord. and all I'll be that hanging. stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean, this is, is this still the YouTube video? Yeah, we're wrapping up the YouTube oh, video. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just completely went Twitch mode and started talking to Twitch yeah. chat. <laughs> That's okay. it's good for them hey to go. Guys, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, Pete, hit that thumbs up and get the likes up Look and, and comment. I read all the comments. He's trying to use YouTube mode. That's what and, YouTube And make sure you like. subscribe. Let's get, I think, we, let's get to 60,000. What are we, 59.4? Something like that. Next week, we want to hit 70,000. If you want people's legs getting cut off <laughs> horrifyingly by ugly. Yeah. Keep watching. These are the stories that people need to hear. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye.